So if you're dreaming of having your own fresh homegrown food on your doorstep in your garden, but you're living in a flat or somewhere that doesn't have a very big garden at all, today's video I'm going to show you five things that you can grow on your windowsill and they'll give you a really prolific crop all through the summer. So make sure you stick around until the end of today's video so that you at home can see how you can grow your own food on your windowsill. So having your own homegrown food has so many benefits. One, it's healthier and two, it's a lot more eco-friendly. So there's an, it's a no-brainer why so many people want to grow their own food, especially at the moment when we're all stuck at home we could be spending loads of time for caring for our plants. So that's why I've decided to make today's video suited towards people who may not have a garden like this and may want to start growing their own food but all they have is their windowsill. So let's start by talking about some of the things you'll have to do when you're growing your own food on a windowsill. So firstly, obviously there's only light coming from one side to the plant on the windowsill unless you've got a corner of windows. So you'll need to make sure that you either turn the plants on a regular basis to make sure they don't start leaning to one side to try and find the sun and don't start going bolting, going really tall. Or you can, what some people do, is they get a mirror behind their plant which means it reflects the sunlight back onto the plant so it'll get all round light. And you can also do this in greenhouses like mine here which only have one side of windows. But what I, I just turn my plants around if they start looking like they're leaning around. So another thing with growing your own food in a windowsill, or just starting, and I'm sorry about the squinting because the sun's quite bright and low today. Um, another thing is that you'll have to water quite regularly on, on a consistent schedule because some things like tomatoes, if you plant the, if you water them and then they go dry and then you water them really heavily again, that can give them something called blossom end rot, which is when where the flower fell off on the fruit, it starts to go brown and quite sometimes quite mushy and it's not very pleasant. So you'll need to water on a regular basis and when you feed them, a good thing to stop blossom end rot is to feed them when, when the soil is quite damp. So don't feed them when the soil is wet because once the soil is damp it means the roots are already taking in water and they know it's not going to shock the plant in any way at all. So now that you've found what windowsill you're going to grow on and what you can do to stop the plants, one, leaning across and also stop things like blossom end rot in tomatoes, I'm going to speak to you about my top five plants that you can grow in your windowsill. Now remember with all these, you can also experiment yourself. So all of these I found out from experimenting myself and finding out what does grow in windowsills and what doesn't. So make sure that you do try and experiment yourself. My first one, which is tomatoes, and tomatoes can do really well in a, t a windowsill. Also because it's in your house, so it's heated, and tomatoes like heat between about 15 and about 30, 35 degrees Celsius. So that's uh, the first thing that'll be really good in your windowsill. And what you should do is, if you're worried about the tomatoes, unless you've got a, a tumbling uh, cherry tomato that'll be short. If you're worried about things like um, the tomato plant getting too tall in your windowsill, what you should do is when it gets to the, sort of the right height that you want it to be, start pinching up the tops, which ma makes it bush out then. Or what you can do is let it have three trusses, so that's three levels of flowers, and then you pinch up the top. And then that'll give you, one, a good harvest, and it'll also not keep it from going too tall. The second plant that I think you should try growing in your windowsill is, well it's more of a genre, like a group of plants, which is salads. And there's so many things of salads that you can grow in your windowsill. My first one is lettuce, and lettuce, I did lettuce once in my windowsill, and it did really well. We got a big, nice lettuce head from it, and the variety I grew was Tom Thumb. Or there's also things like radish, which grow really well, and also you can grow little baby carrots and spring onions. Just about any, any salad crops you can grow in your windowsill. The third food thing that I've, I'm going to talk to you about is herbs. And herbs are a really broad thing. But we've grown herbs in our windowsill several times and it's done really well. We've also got a herb trough over in our garden and that's doing also really well. But herbs are something that I think taste, will taste best fresh. So if you're cooking, you could have it on your kitchen windowsill. You could have a load of herbs in a trough or in a, loads of little pots. And then you can go and you can pick the herbs and you can just put them straight into your meal. 
and then there you can't really get much fresher than that. So the fourth thing that you can grow in your windowsill that I'm going to tell you about is peppers. So you can use bell peppers, chilli peppers or anything like that but these all do really well in a warm sunny windowsill. So that's the fourth thing and I've not really grown many peppers before so this year is my first year that they're going to be successful I think because last year they all sort of didn't really turn into anything, they flowered but didn't grow any peppers and this year they seem to be doing quite well at the moment. I'd just like to tell you as well, make sure that you go and check out the Espresso Mushroom Company which will be linked down below in my description of my YouTube video. So my fifth and final plant that I'm going to tell you about that you can grow in your windowsill is carrots. Now I've never grown carrots in the windowsill but I've seen a lot of other people do it and they seem to be really successful and prolific. So that's something that is worth you trying and experimenting with. But just remember, after this video, you can go and go to the garden centre or the supermarket and buy whatever seeds you want to try whatever you want in your windowsill. Because if it doesn't go wrong, it only costs you a few quid from the packet of seeds. So it's not really worth worrying about failing with uh, windowsill growing. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it down below and also let me know what you thought of it in the comments section. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the little bell icon so you know next time I upload. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.